Hey everybody out there on the Pro Forum, this is Tom Usher coming to you again from sunny Ohio and I'm in my dressing room slash bathroom and I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the dressing room experience for your clients. You know, I'm always impressed when I go to a hotel and there's all kinds of nice stuff in the bathroom. There's been a couple of times when I've gone to a hotel and they've had a robe and everything and whew, that's really snazzy. It lets you know that you have quality. And I want that same feeling for my clients in the dressing room. So I want to show you my uh, vanity area of my dressing room. Now, of course, I have a mirror so they can check themselves out. I also have a nice big full length mirror in there as well. And, and actually, if you turn around and close the door, there's another full length mirror so they can check the back side if they want to. But that's not what's important. What's important is right here on the vanity. First and foremost, chocolate. Oh, you got to have some chocolate. I like the little um, minis there that you can get from Hershey's. They can enjoy all kinds of different varieties. You got to have some water so they can stay hydrated. Of course, soap. And then I also keep Purell there for people who are germ freaks. Here's a little thing I stole from Terry Dunlop. These are neat little inspirational rocks. This one says, oh, Inspire. No wonder they're inspirational. I got those from, uh, from Oriental Trading Company. And then I have some more things over here. I have Listerine Zero, less intense, no alcohol, and I keep a big stack of Dixie cups on there so they can uh, go ahead and use that if they need to. Lotion if they have a cute short dress but their legs are a little dry. Um, hairspray of course is important. If we've been outside, some cooling mist is nice. And then also this dry shampoo sometimes is good to get the hair to poof up a little bit more. To keep their outfits looking good, I've got a small can of Static Guard if they need it and then a, um, a lint roller. But what's really fun is what you got here in the drawers as well. And I tell the kids that they are welcome to have anything they want in the drawers. Everything there is for them. So here we have all kinds of hair care products. We've got bobby pins and these little snap clips and these big old claw things. I'm not a girl so I don't know what these are called. The hair ties that you're always telling the girls to take off their wrist are in there. I encourage them to change their hairstyle, especially if they come out with a sporty looking outfit, because a different hairstyle means more sales. It's a different look, they've got to buy it. Over here, we keep some other things. Uh, I have brushes and combs in there, and I keep the tags on them, and that way it makes it feel like they're new and clean. You always have to make sure if they get used to clean out any type of hair on there. And then when it comes to the, um, to the combs and such, actually, they usually take those with them. These little guys are awesome. These are little bra clips, and I got these off of eBay. I got a billion of them. And those can connect your bra straps together in the back if that's a problem. And then I keep uh, some lip smackers or some chapstick in here, some Vaseline if they want that for your lips. You'd be surprised how often they take the chapstick with them, and that's cool. In the larger drawer, I've got over here a very small like travel flat iron in case they need it. Some shout to go if they need that. Uh, you'd be surprised how often you need safety clips or safety pins rather and a scissors when they bring in those new outfits. Something I'm trying new this year is I picked up some oil absorbing um, little sheets so when we come inside if they are a little shiny they can use those to wipe off. And then I also bought some loose nude powder and some little spongy sponges for that. I don't know if they'll get used or not, but we'll see. Over on this side, we have female equipment in case that's necessary. I have eye drops in case they're tired. Some toothbrushes and toothpaste like you would get uh, if you left your luggage at the uh, airport. Um, edge and a razor. I don't know if it's ever been used or not. And then nail polish remover. Whew, this is really important, these little pads. How often do you have really gross toenail polish? Use those to clean that off. And then some Band-Aid, some Alka-Seltzer, and some Acetaminophen. That's it. There's not a whole lot in there, but it's everything that I've found that most people need. And uh, it really has saved me in a few spots. So if, you're, uh, if you have a home studio or you have a commercial space, go in your dressing room. Take a look around. See if you feel at home there. All right. Take care.